ha batho ha ngo ba emela ko mafota ya ditsheko ba ta ha pele ga judge ba bua ka ha ba sa tsewang sentle ka teng dilo tse ba di buang ha ngo itlhala o ka re ga dina bo a maru re ka gore wena o ntse hela wa ikotsa ra hore mo botswana o ka ire ga gone mo o tswantsa ba sa boinne ba dia dire ga dilo and i saw them they happened to me done by officers of, of BURS, done by Mapodisi, and it was horrifying. Where a declaration, when I let Pampiri Ebido, I got the general declaration, yeah, aircraft. When pilots land, they submit this document. This document was hidden. And an officer of BURS insists on how to declare, there was no declaration. And they want to impound the aircraft. Ya bato ya ho bono mo di office in Tsabone. Ya bono the declaration was done. Key. And the guy says no, I insist. You know I looked at this guy, I know his name, I know him very well. I looked at him and I said to myself, you know, hanile nna ke bolelwa, I would not believe. If I was not the one on the receiving end. And I, I, I saw these things. I saw myself driving here up Francis Town. I get stopped after Palap by some sergeant, Palap police. Checks my license and says, holds on to my license and says, He's He steps aside and makes a call. Comes back. Yeah. Uh, divisional commander wa Palapiari is on his way. What do you mean? You are a police officer. Is this an arrest? Ah, he doesn't know how to explain. He goes and calls. <laughs> and I say to him, in fairness to him, I say, I'll give you uh, 10 minutes. I'll give you 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, well after 10 minutes, maybe 15, 20, I go up to him. Ari, are we met the reinforcement? It's one zero way. Reinforcement, yeah. This is something that happened. I lived through this thing. And can't let him like born. I decided to now to go rogue. I said, hey, second license, yeah. You're wasting my time. So I Grabbed my license from him and said to him, Yeah, Francis Town, eh? You can get my number. Call me when you uh, when I get there, I'll tell you which room I'm in. Or you can ask my police about Francis Town to go and wait for me for Tapama. That's where I'm going. And I took my license from him and I drove. Ketana go after the ruling. Another police officer. Took my license and I drove out. And I waited. It was a Friday. I waited. I thought, no, they will come. They never came. I came back uh, on Sunday, drove nothing. Did the road block the there was nothing. How do you explain this? Hmm? How do you explain? And it didn't happen once. They tried to stop me, and I was driving to Parliament. The guy, well, police, I Parliament. I'm not going to stop here. So I said, "No, I want you to stop." I said, "No, I refuse." So I went to Parliament. They surrounded Parliament. My police armed some of them. I went to the, the current leader of opposition. We walked to the commissioner. I said to him, "What is this?" He had no explanation, and he called them, and they then left. I have seen these things. I've seen the abuse. I have witnessed, I have experienced abuse at the hands of DIS. I have experienced abuse at the hands of BURS. When a person has any tax issues, my DIS, they don't do that. I don't know in what country that happens, but it happened with me. Let us assume there was a tax issue. Let us assume. Do you go to my house and intimidate my family? 
At a certain point, some of the members of the UDC went to the house and chased out uh, Bandia Yeswati. That's what happened. So these are the abuses that I know and I've experienced. And I will not have to worry about it.